Good morning and welcome. Still a cube here on the Sunshine Coast and a very sunny day here in Queensland, Australia. Planning my art studio today and having a good old time. I am trying to use up the rest of these colours because we are going away for a week. I have got seven videos all uh, ready and uploaded to YouTube, so there will be a video each day that I'm away and I can sit there and relax and have my coffee, looking over the ocean each morning, but um, answering your and watching the YouTube um, comments. So that will be a nice relaxing time for my husband and I. I believe that it is um, much needed. So without further ado, I'm just gonna get into this because I have an idea and I'm just gonna literally just go with what I'm feeling and um, an idea that I had in my brain that I woke up about. So I'll just try it um, on this nice little canvas. This is just my normal white base. It's just acrylic paint mixed exactly how I've mixed the rest, which is 70% um, the clear glue with 30% water and then put into my paints. And uh, I, this one has got a good dash of Floetrol in there too. The pouring medium recipe is in the drop down box underneath this video. So, rightio, let me, let me go with the flow, literally. This is a custom color that I have mixed up and it was um, mostly gold with a big, just a little dash of cool blue and it's made this beautiful, what I'm calling Emerald Coast, gorgeous emerald colour. And then this one is the Viridian. And I think, I know it's glistening, so I must have added some pearl white in there, metallic pearl white. So I'm going to just go with these colours to start with along the bottom. Beautiful colours, absolutely beautiful. Do I want to put a dash? No, I don't. Maybe not. Maybe just a little baby dash of this um, nice bright. This was orange just mixed and I put a good dash of yellow in with it. It makes it this really lovely, um, bright, vibrant, almost like my fluoro yellow. I'll put a bit more of that in there. So this this probably will be in two parts if it goes to plan. So let's see. Make sure the rest of my canvas is covered. This is just some berry delicious that I have left, and I only uh, that are custom colour, and then I just mixed it with flow troll only. See, let's get my super duper swiper, which is just the um, soft plastic file divider. This one doesn't look that clean, but it's just got dry paint on it. So, wowzers, trousers, look at those cells. Salacious, wow. What a little bit of paint did to that canvas, hey? I have an idea that I want to use this as a backdrop for when it's dry, I want to embellish it with some flowers. But uh, look at it, it is gorgeous. Just let me go over with this heat wand. That is absolutely stunning. The idea I had in my head was to let this dry and become the base and then I wanted to embellish it with some stalks up here and then put some, uh, paint some flowers. 
but I'm second thinking it, second thunking it. I'm just thinking if I dip my balloon in the bottom colours or even in some other colours that I could put aside and then put them in, it still might be my flower stem. Let me try. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, my goodness. That is gorgeous. I'll just move my paints out of the way. I might um, put a little bit of paint. I might put a bit of different colour on my um, plastic and see if I can dip my flowers that I want up here. Let me just use a bit of the colour there. It's not enough colour. So I might just dip, I'm going to pour a little bit of paint onto my soft plastic file divider so I can kind of dip my balloon into it. So I've got this lovely razzle dazzle red and I will use some of that orange. I can't show you because I'm having to do it out of the camera. And then I'll put some of the um, Berry Delicious in it too. Let's see how I go. So I'm going to just get this um, balloon. I'm going to wipe it clean first and dip it in my paint and then try that. It's not really coming out on that, is it? Try again. A little bit, a little bit. I don't want too many of them. I want to, when it's dry, add the stalk into them and then I could probably further embellish them. So the stalk will come down that way. I think that would be enough. I just want a bit more colour in it. So it probably would have been best to do These are the lovely colours that have just come up on my ear. My piece of plastic, look, that's gorgeous <laughs> itself. So there's not quite enough colour in those that I would like. So I'm going to leave it to dry off and kind of have the bottom and then some stems coming in looking like, how could I do that? I could actually do that with a little um, pipette, I suppose. A, do you call it a pipette? A pipette. Pipette. Or I could just do it with my... Like this. Oh. That was too much. I need a smaller... I won't worry about that because I will balloon over that. See, this is because I'm impatient to not letting it dry before I do my little bits and bobs. So I'm trying to do it how you will see it. So it's kind of upside down for me. <laughs> oh gosh, golly gosh. I put blob in there and a blob in there. You know how much I love blobs? And then I'm going to put a little bit of the orange. Ooh, 
Well, it isn't as I envisage because I um, was going to leave it to dry before I embellished it, but too impatient and, I'm, and we're going away on holiday. So I've got to get my art room cleaned up because the people that are staying here in our house probably won't want to look at this mess in here. Anyway, push this in. Let's give this a go. Oh, oh, that's cute. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Very cute. Oh, look, I shouldn't waste that. Probably my smaller balloon would have been better in the center. But you know, let's get my little one. So it's got the nice green down the bottom. That's really metallic and shining through. So it's just got rid of that sort of blobby line there. Balloons are the most wonderful tool I find in art. They are for me anyway, I just love them. And help you create some gorgeous effects. I think I'm going to leave that and the only thing I will do to that is when it's dry I'll define the stalks a bit more but that is gorgeous very sweet so what do you guys think you like it I love the colors I love it I love it okay you lovely people until tomorrow I certainly will be back and I hope you enjoyed that sweet little piece I certainly did. So remember, it's your art room, your rules, your way. Enjoy it. Don't take criticism of others because it's abstract art and there is always somebody that loves it. So I will wish you um, all well. Stay safe, create, and until tomorrow. Bye for now.